Today we're going to take it back to the basics and show you how to patch a tire. So the first thing you might notice, this is obviously not a Mustang wheel and tire, but one of our employees had a flat, so I figured it was a good chance to show you actually how to do this. That was completely flat, so we're going to put some air in it so we can figure out where the leak's coming from. All right, so obviously our leak is right here. Now if you have a nail or a screw or something like that, you can use soapy water. I can do it here and show you, I mean it'll just, you'll basically see it bubbling up. This isn't the soapiest water, but you can see the right there where the air is coming out. Now before we get too far into this, I do want to mention, this is kind of the edge of where you'd want to use a patch. Patches work better up in the treaded area. They will not work on the sidewall, so don't even try. But we're on the edge of the tread here, so it should actually seal up. So we're gonna give it a shot. To do this, we need a tire patch kit. You can pick this up at any auto parts store. Basically a reamer to clean it out, the tool to put the patch in, the patches, and the glue. We'll start with the reaming tool. Now I should mention at this point, if you have a nail or a piece of metal or something that in the tire, you want to remove that first. So grab a pair of needle nose pliers, whatever you can do. Absolute worst case, you can use this tool to push it into the tire. I don't recommend that. You definitely want to get it out if possible. You also want to put the reamer in the direction of the hole. So if you have a nail like sticking out like this, you want to ream it in the same direction. Since we're working with a little slit here, we're just going to go in the middle. We'll just open it up. And what you're doing here is you're basically cleaning the surface. I can see this is actually cut pretty far. This is kind of the edge of what I would attempt to patch, but we're going to try anyway. Just clean this out. Make sure there's no big chunks of rubber sitting there so it won't seal properly. There you go. Now grab your cement. Basically put some over the area where we're working. The tire patches are sticky, so we're going to remove the paper and get one of the patches off here. Alright, now you want to take this tool, you're going to squeeze this, and work it through the opening in the tool. And pull it through until it's halfway. You want to basically go in the hole. I'm going to slowly work this in. The tool is designed to release it. So don't push it all the way in. You want to get to a little bit like that is sticking out. And work the tool out. Okay, then whatever's basically the part that's sticking out. If this is on the tread, you can honestly just leave it and drive. It'll wear itself off. Being where it's at, though, it's not going to see any traction. So we're going to just cut it. Close to the surface as possible so it looks clean. All right, we're ready to air it back up. I'll fill her back up. Nothing at all, we're sealed up and ready to go. And that's all there is to it. It's actually very, very easy to patch a tire. Now, a couple of things I do want to mention. The best patches are always from the inside. So if you're trying to get more of a permanent solution, take it to a tire shop, have them patch it properly. This, I will say, will hold up, but I usually only recommend this for temporary use to get you where you're going. Now, the case of this tire, again, that's the edge of where I would patch. It does work better over here, but again, as you can see, it's sealed up and it's safe to get us back on the road.